We all need to watch our neighbors. Pit bull owners especially, but also owners of large vicious breeds, these people are enemies to entire communities. They make communities dangerous, more dangerous than gangsters. Generally, gangsters don't want to attack kids. You understand? And for the most part, gangsters and thugs from the street, they're not going to bother you. Most of the riffraff is personal. How many of y'all heard this story surfaced today? A few hours ago, 70-year-old woman in North Carolina dies about a week after being attacked by a neighbor's pit bull pit bulls plural there's more than one belong to her neighbor that story I just reported on those kids who were attacked I was a neighbor's dog owners of large vicious dogs especially owners of bully breeds are enemies to communities and they make communities unsafe. This story, where a four-year-old was attacked. This four-year-old was in her car seat when she was attacked by a neighbor's pit bull. The owner called for his dogs to come back. They didn't listen. They started to attack. This is all according to a plumber who witnessed it and helped to shoo the dog away. He called for his pit bull. They didn't listen. They attacked the four-year-old. So the owner tried to pull the dog off of the four-year-old and failed. And after he failed, he took off. The plumber said he was nowhere to be found. That is a true enemy of a community. Even if he would have stayed, the damage is done. So this guy takes off after he failed to pull his pit bull off a four-year-old. And the plumber eventually chased the dog off. Some supervisor what good does it do to have laws that tell dog owners that they're responsible for controlling their dog? You can't control them. And it's most difficult to control them when it's a pit bull that's attacking. Once they attack, it's virtually impossible to stop them. It's complete suicide to simply say hey control your dog just as ridiculous as saying hey control your grizzly bear yeah control your African lion people we need to wake up this is such a foolish and silly game now I don't mean to belittle the seriousness or anything like that, but this is so silly, it's like a game. But it's a wicked, evil, and dangerous game. It's very cultish. This is cultish type of stuff where you risk your life, not just your life, that would be different if it was just you, the adult life. But no, these things have proven to prefer to attack children and they get promoted more and more. Yeah, we need to expedite the neutralizing of this culture expedite the extermination of bully breeds there's no excuse i'm not getting too far over the hill here i'm not exaggerating it is not unreasonable 
to request the extermination of pit bulls. Many people before me have. They've said that they should be banned and they should all be spayed and neutered. That's extermination. They have no place in society. Same goes for other large vicious breeds. German Shepherds and other large Great Danes, other large vicious powerful dogs. The same applies to them. But there's no excuse for the breed that was bred to attack, to kill on instinct and bred to be quickly triggered where it doesn't take much at all. In the fighting pit, you didn't have to do anything. You just release it. No matter if it's attacking a bull or another dog. You don't have to do a magic trick or anything uh, special to get it to attack. You simply let it go. Y'all remember that um, video of that guy who released his pit bull and it attacked a cat? What'd he do? All he did was release it. You don't have to teach these things to attack. It is not about how you raise them or how you train them. People have been attacked by a wide variety of dog owners, dogs. Let's stop playing dumb here. The vast majority of these dogs that have attacked have been owned by very mild mannered type of people. Many times these very mild mannered women who misunderstand see some of these women they have this motherly instinct and it works against them they think the answer is love they hear that everything said about pit bulls is a myth and they assume oh it must require love and they're sold on this idea. And for as long as the dog doesn't attack them, they believe their love is working. And they fall deeper and deeper in love with this behavior. With many of them, they get this type of high, this euphoric feeling when the dog is not attacking them. Almost as if they get off on it. Like, hey, look at my magical love. It's working. And they become addicted to that. And they end up putting themselves and other people in danger. There's no excuse for bully breeds. These things were bred to fight. Look at how often they're in the news. Far more often than other breeds it is time to ban them we need a global ban nothing short of